five. So yes, it was. As we go to the World Cup winner for 2015, Aaron Gwynn. What will we see from him this afternoon? The pressure's off. I think we're going to see something special. He won't be able to help himself, surely now. Carrying good speed through that first turn, taking a bit out into the second one. And for raw speed, one of the fastest we've ever, se we've ever seen. A man, I think you can really only compare Sam Hill in recent years for just out and out pace. Comes in here hot, on the brakes hard. Safely through the park that saw his closest rival in the overall standings. Greg Minar crash the set. Oh, <laughs> oh word. this is brilliant stuff again from Aaron Gwynn. OK, again, we might see some miracle here on track from well, Aaron Gwynn. He's up by over a second and split one. So you're not wrong, Claudio. This is brilliant. Twice he has won here in 2011 and 2012. The years that he went on to win the overall World Whoa. Cup. Scrubs that, doesn't send the big gap. How did he do that? Coming in with that speed and staying so low, how can you do that? It's Aaron Gwynn can do anything he wants on a bike. It's as simple as that. Had a big crash there in the early years of this track. Through that part of the course. Split two and he's up. Look at that. Oh my word, 2.377 now. Oh, different line in there. Inside, inside, didn't look fast, but maybe was. Gwyn back to his best this year. The only rider ever in the history of the sport to win five World Cups in one year. Goes light over there, he's going so quick. That top, that bottom section didn't look very fast, but I might be wrong. Clever ride in there, lands outside the braking bumps. The bumps only slow you down. Straight into him there on that last left. But he's got nearly two and a half seconds to play with. So Bruni isn't going to win his first World Cup. It's not going to happen for him this year. He's going to have to wait till 16. As Green goes across the line, over a second and a half up, with only his teammate now left at the top. What the hell? What have we just seen? What have we just seen? The times are coming tumbling down here now. Well, you know, we weren't that wrong with thinking that his bottom section wasn't that fast because he did lose a bit of time from the second split to the finish line. Right. And uh, this might have been why. No, I think here that that's still before the second. Oh, is it? Stage, right? Excuse me, Claudio. You're right. So, I'm getting uh, excited again. Scrubbing that jump there is probably a good thing. Not not a lot of riders will be able to do so. But looking at him losing a bit of time towards the bottom opens the door for a win for his teammate. Cool. Look at the style of this man. Specialized Troy Lee Designs rider. Is it going to be four wins for Aaron Gwynn in 2015? Only one man now could stop him, his teammate. And as I said earlier, you can see his fork only go half, yeah. halfway in. If you compare it with Brooke McDonald's fork, that was bottoming out several times. So different setup on his suspension.